All right, we've got 1861 slash 1867. It has arrived. I'm super excited. I did peek at this game a little bit before, when right when it arrived in the mail, because I can't help myself, but I know that it is worth the unboxing video. This is the best attempt I've seen to really update and improve the visual and production quality of 18xx. So let's open the box. Very excited. It's a big box, thick, with a couple of games. All right, what do we got here? We've got, as always, we've got some uh, small cards, normal sized small cards. We've got the joke money that no one uses. Throw that to the side. We have a giant bag of tokens, like so many tokens, uh, partially because this is two games. So uh, lots of baggies, that's good to have. This has its own, I don't know what this token's about, but it has its own bag. We've got a bunch of companies, Canada stuff on this side. And then I assume, yes, Russian on this side. But look, the quality of these is good. It's nice, thick cardstock. I like the texture on each of them. Uh, it's just a very clean look that I'm really enjoying for these company cards. Very nicely done. We've got player aids here, which maybe is my favorite part. These are the best 18xx player aids I think I've seen. Really clean, shows the different trains, the different stuff that happens in each phase of the game, shows an overview of the stock and operating rounds, merger round, and again, the graphic design, the color choices on this, right? It's the same colors we're used to, the yellow, green, brown, red, but it just seems like it's working with this texture in the background so nicely to just use the colors we're all familiar with with the genre, but update it to make it look cleaner, make it look a bit nicer, which I love. Um, what do we got here? We've got war companies. These are major companies. What are these? Oh, I see. These are minor companies. So I, I don't know anything about these two games, 1861, 1867. I got them based on a recommendation. Oh, there we go. They have lots of minor companies. Good to know. Same card stock for both of these. These are a bit smaller than the major companies. And again, Russian on the front and Canadian on the back. We've got this nice quick start manual. Let me zoom out just a bit. We've got this nice quick start manual here. It's got, uh, let's see here. Yeah, quick start. That just seems to be accurate for what I'm seeing here. How to manage things, example of play, all that good stuff. Again, doing this nice off-white tan background. And it looks laid out very nice. We have the rules and regulations, as they call it here, which is more traditional rule book. And a nice little overview cheat sheet for experienced players, which is nice to have. But your typical rule book, good spacing, good font choices. I am enjoying the look of this game. Now we get to the sticker sheet, and this is bananas. We got two sticker sheets, but looking at the bottom here, you gotta match all these to these tokens based on some, in some cases, like look at all those shades of blue. Look at the shades of red and orange. And there's just random red over here. Like, I do not look forward to stickering all these tokens. We've got four, the track looks very nice. Good thickness of cardboard. Oops, I punched that one. Good thickness of cardboard, not I think as thick as the GMT. 18xx games but alternate art on the back if you want to do less traditional a little more stylized tile placements and of course the normal ones on front i don't know what i think 
of the alt art here. I like what they're going for. Whoops, that piece is just falling right out. I like what they're going for. I don't know if I prefer it to the cleaner look. We'll figure that out later. I'll give both of them a shot. We've got, I don't know, 10 or so sheets for track. Look at all those cities. I love it. I do actually like how the cities look in the alt art. That's really nice. Maybe I will use the updated art. Now we're getting to the board. We'll get to that later. Let's look at the board here. We've got a super nice stock market. Oops. Right there. Revenue tracker, stock market, clean. Looks good. On the other side, oh, interesting. One of these is a 2D market, and, or excuse me, one dimensional, this one, just back and forth. The other one is two dimensional. I'm learning about the game as I do this. And then of course the best part, oh wait, it says train yard, two different train yards that have a, roughly the same info. Just slightly different coloring, high production quality. This is full cardboard. And uh, we got a little maple leaf for the Canada side. All right, let's look at the map. We've got on this side, what do I see? This is the Canadian side. This is 1867. Looks nice, goes offshore to Maine. We got Quebec here. Goes down to offshore De or offboard Detroit. Um, so we're getting kind of the eastern middle section of Canada. I don't think it, it doesn't go all the way to the ocean and it hits the Great Lakes on the western side. I do like this map. Looks very, very nice. Flipping it over, we get the Russian side which has all your favorite Russian major cities, Kiev, Moscow. Um, those are basically the only, I don't know Russian geography. Goes off board to Poland. And uh, there we go. Really beautiful looking map. Maybe my favorite looking in terms of just the graphic design, in terms of how it's balancing the clean look you want from 18xx with additional map details. Probably my favorite one yet of any 18xx game, just based on, on first impressions. And then the extra bonus, which I know, I think delayed the Kickstarter a bit, if I can get this out of here, but it comes with its own tile storage solution. Three sheets of these with lids to hold your tiles in. That's gonna, that's, I mean, that's just a great bonus. I am very much looking forward. I hope the games are good. They were recommended to me when I saw that we had a more uh, professional, or not, I'm not, I don't wanna say professional, a more polished, maybe aesthetically pleasing 18XX production. I was excited, the games were recommended to me. I think they're on the simpler side but there we go, 1861 slash 67, Russian and Canadian, the same similar system. I know, uh, just two different maps. This was kickstarted, I kickstarted this. I assume they're selling on retail at some point once all the Kickstarter uh, shipments are delivered. It, was, it did very well. So I think it will be on retail and I will have more information, reviews and such, once I'm able to get it played. But just looking at it, I'm very excited to try this out. 1861, 1867. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe and go to thethoughtfulgamer.com for all of my board game stuff. See you next time. Mm -hmm.